too. It's your boy Jarrell here holding down for Jarrell Fitness. And y'all already know, man, it's time to grow, bro. What's good? Shout out to the T2G Nation. I see y'all watching. So what's good, man? So anyway, man, I thought this would be a good time for me to do a video like this. The last video I put up like this was probably like a while back. It had to have been probably maybe about a year ago, probably the last time I did a video like this. But it's my second time doing it, so I thought that I'd go ahead and update it for y'all. So basically, this the name of this video is gonna be called What's in the Bag, Bro? So basically, I'm gonna show you guys what I carry in my gym bag. Right here, man. As you guys can see, got the duffel bag all laced up, you know what I'm saying, with all this money. It's, it's pretty much money in here. It, it ain't no gym equipment, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm bullshit. But anyway, all jokes aside, this is everything that I take to the gym. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. For all you guys that out there that are curious about what I carry in my gym bag, even though it look like this bitch is about to bust because it got so much shit in it, I need to get a bigger gym bag, but this does the job for me just as good. So I'm gonna stick with it for right now, okay? So anyway, guys, um, this is what I would recommend. The things that I'm gonna show you in this bag is what I'm gonna recommend for everybody that goes to the gym to have these items in your bag at all times when you go to the gym. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna get everything folded out for you guys and I'm gonna show you, okay? Let's go. Okay guys, so we pretty much got everything emptied up out of the bag, so that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bitch to the side, and let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is everything that I have laid out on the table. Got various items, but I'm gonna go ahead and probably start with the most important items that should be definitely staples when you go to the gym. So I would say the first thing that you need when you go to the gym, if, if you are a person that has very sensitive hands. If you haven't really broken your hands in yet to train in the gym and, and go raw without any type of hand protection, I would definitely recommend that you say, you know what, fuck the pain, I'm gonna go get myself some gloves. So these are just a regular pair of gloves that I keep in my bag just in case I go to a strange gym and I run into a, 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 bar, a, a barbell that has like very rough gnarling on it that kind of digs into your hand real sharp and to cut your shit up. So I like to keep these just in case, you know, so I run into that problem. But my hands are pretty broken in, so I don't have any problems like that. I got some rough ass hand, got calluses and all type of shit. So this is three years of training, baby. So I used to use gloves like my first year of training, but then I stopped using them because I felt like I was more connected with the barbell and, and the weights when I went raw. So that's what's up. But I keep these in the bag just in case. Had them in there for a while. Or I might have somebody training with me and they might, you know, want to use them. So that's what's up. So anyway, that's what I have right here. Now to accompany these, now if you're going barehanded like myself, I keep a container of lifting chalk. So as you guys can see, this is lifting chalk. They sell it like this by the block. You know what I'm saying? And then you would just use this, rub it on your hands to take away all of the moisture out of your hands so you'll be able to get a good grip on the bar. And actually it kind of soothes the pain just a little bit. Well, maybe like a mental thing with me, but I like to rub this on my calluses and shit like that before I start doing my bench presses. So this definitely helps out. And when you're doing deadlifts or any type of pulling exercises, if you're going barehanded, okay? So I like to keep a container of this and put it in there. This stuff is real cheap. You can buy from the sporting goods store, okay? All right, so that's that right there. So now the next thing that I would consider a staple is wrist wraps. These are some Enzer um, Arn Z wraps. Arn, iron, I always say arm like that. Iron Z wraps. And these are made by Enzer, you know, the company, the, the power lifting company, they design all those different power lifting apparel and stuff. They got a website. So these are the 20 inch Enzer Iron Z wraps. Okay, so these are a very great investment. I think I paid probably about, I think for a pair, it cost me about what, um, 
How much was it? Was it $12? It was like $14 or something like that. I don't know how much was shipping and handling, but these are them right there. These work great to give your wrists the support that they need in order for you to lift those heavy ass weights. Definitely when it comes to your pushing day, when you're doing heavy um, dumbbell, shoulder presses, bench press, you name it. So these come in very handy. And uh, make sure you go ahead and get the 20 inch long ones because if you get anything longer, it's gonna look kind of silly and they're gonna be in the way. So that's what's up. So go ahead and fuck with these, okay? Um, let me put everything to the side that, I, that I'm finished with. Put these to the side. Okay, well fuck, I'm gonna leave right here. I'll remember. So anyway, now the next thing that I would definitely put at the top of your list is these. These are lifting straps. These are made by Chic. And the way that these are designed, they're not your traditional lifting straps, but um, I have some traditional ones and they look like this. And I keep these in my bag also, just in case I wanna do some front squats and I wanna use these. I have a video showing you how to do that, but go ahead and check it out right here. This is a video showing you how to do front squats with regular traditional lifting straps, okay? So that's what's up. So this is where these come in right here. But anyway, these are the more advanced ones that are made by Sheik. So as you can see, you wrap it around your wrist. And um, you guys saw that in my last video. So that's how these come in real handy. Got like the little Velcro and everything like that to keep them on real tight and adjust the tightness. So that's what's up. So these are definitely coming handy for pulling day, pull ups and shit like that to make sure that you focus on working your lats as opposed to your grip. So these come in great. I love these, had them for years, okay? Now the very next thing that I would suggest that you have in your bag would be a powerlifting belt, not a regular weightlifting belt that you would buy from Sports Authority or Dick Sporting Good. Don't get none of that cheap shit, man. Go all the way, man. And go ahead and get yourself like one of these powerlifting belts. It doesn't have to be this one. This is a powerlifting belt made by um, Enzer. It's called the um, the Enzer. What's the name of this belt? I forgot the name of this. Oh yeah, the Forever Lever belt. So as you guys can see, there's a nice little lever. You put this around and. Shit like that, so that's what's up. I right, guess so that's that. Hold on for a second. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. So anyway, that was the power lifting belt. Got that out the way. So that comes in handy for when you're doing squats, uh, heavy squats, deadlifts, just anything that you need a belt with. Make sure that you invest into a nice belt. This is a 10, the 13, I'm sorry, the 13 millimeter one. So check it out on their website, okay? So anyway, now the very next thing that I would definitely put as a staple is if you're somebody that works your legs and you're very serious about it, make sure you go ahead, go ahead and get yourself some, um, some knee sleeves. These come in real good as far as for just knee health. I remember before I bought these and I used to just do squats with regular um, um, knee wraps like these that you wrap around tight. I used to have like a lot of pain in my knees and shit like that. So I knew there was something unhealthy going on. So I did some research and found out that actually um, knee sleeves are better for your, your knee health in the long run. But these are still good. The white color of them, kind of, I just don't like this shit. I might go ahead and give you some black. I love the color black, so I might get rid of these. They look kind of clownish looking sometimes, so. But these are also good, but um, if you have to choose between these two, I would definitely go with something like these. Ray-Ban knee sleeves, get two of them. They're kind of expensive, but you can go ahead and look them up online and try to find if you can get a good price for them, okay? so. More information on these, check it out online, okay? All right, so I got those out the way, got these out the way, and then I'm gonna go ahead with the next item. The next item that I have in my bag right here is a dipping belt. So this is a great investment right here, a dipping belt, especially if you're somebody that likes to work your triceps, okay? So, as you can see, clipping that on there, if you like to work your triceps, you might wanna put some heavy ass weights on here and do some heavy ass tricep dips or you know just do some dips in general whatever the case may be you might want to do pull-ups okay weighted pull-ups so you definitely have to have one of these because you don't want to be looking and trying to hold a dumbbell in between your foot it's falling and all type of shit make everything easy on you okay i saw a guy at the gym the other day he asked me about the dipping belt because he was still putting the dumbbell between his feet so it's very difficult so make things easy for yourself invest into a dipping belt okay so that's what i have right here in my bag, okay, so 
Okay, then as you guys can see, you know that I film while I'm in the gym, so I keep my little tripods right here. This is a, a gorilla tripod or whatever like that. It has flexible legs, so I can wrap that around shit when I'm recording. If I don't have my homeboy Gary the Legend with me, then I have another small tripod right here. This case I run into any other type of situation where I want it just to stay on a flat surface or whatever like that. I make things easy for myself because I gotta keep bringing y'all some good quality videos. So that's why I do that, okay? so. Got that right there, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Now, as you guys can see, your boy must keep a shaker bottle. In my shaker bottle, I keep this in my bag. I already have my two scoops of um, whey protein isolate in here with um, one tablespoon of PB2 pink powder peanut butter. Tastes delicious. And I also put some of my um, Miracle Fiber in here, like, like one tablespoon. And I have it already, the powder already in here. And then when I finish working out, I have a jug like this. Hey, so it's a must that you bring a lot of liquid to the gym. So bring yourself like a nice gallon of water. Now just pour that in this bottle, shake it up, you know what I'm saying, drink it post-workout, okay? So make sure you bring some water to the gym. Don't be ashamed to walk around with a big ass gallon. You wanna make sure that you're well hydrated while you're in the gym working out, okay? So I usually keep this with me, but of course not in my gym bag. I carry this on my side, okay? Okay, uh, another thing that I like to keep with me is some fast digesting carbs. I drink this intra workout while I'm working out. I like to get myself some simple sugars to keep me going. So Gatorade does the trick. This is a 20 ounce bottle. I usually finish this towards the end of my workout and then I'll probably start drinking water after that. Or sometimes I rotate between water, Gatorade, water, Gatorade, just to stay nice and hydrated and have some nice simple sugars to keep me going. Okay guys, so that's what's up. Okay, before I even go to the fucking gym, um, you guys already know that I have to be pumped up. So sometimes I will go ahead, let me make sure that this camera's still rolling, is it? Yeah, it is, okay. Sometimes when I go to the gym, I'll make sure that I'm pumped up. So I will have, have myself some of my pre-workout. So I usually keep this in my bag. When I get halfway to the gym, after I pick up my buddy, I'll go ahead and mix it in one of my shaker cups, and then I'll go ahead and drink it. So this is C4 Extreme Soya Core. And um, this is what I use pre-workout. I keep this in my bag. And um, make sure that you have yourself a combination lock when you go to the gym. I see asshole, assholes all the time in the gym that just put their shit in the locker without a lock on it. I open it up, I have to go through like five different lockers. So make sure you get yourself a combination lock when you go to the gym to lock your shit up to keep it safe, man. You don't want nobody taking your money, do you? Okay, okay. Well, y'all work hard for your money. So, all right, I believe this is probably the last thing that I have which is probably not the last important, but the least important, but it's very important when it comes to training. You have to have your music. So I got this right here. This is a nice sleeve. I put my iPhone in here, iPod, whatever you got, and you put it in the sleeve, okay? And you got your headphones right here. Hook it, run it through your shirt, listen to your music, go ahead and train like a beast. So I believe that was everything. Okay, other than this, this is the last thing. This is a tape, my body tape measure. So if you want to, you can make your measurements and stuff like that. You can, you know, um, measure your biceps and your arms and shit like that. So this is real nice if you want people that like to take measurements all the time. But I really don't use it, but I still keep it in my bag, you know, just in case. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, ooh, one more thing. I'm sorry. All right, now if you have extra room in your bag, okay, just carry them on or just carry them on your side. These are some squat shoes right here, as you guys can see. These are the Adidas Power Lift Trainers. Okay, these are very good shoes for doing squats, front squats, or whatever the case may be. But I went ahead and picked up some of these probably about, maybe about a year ago, I believe, or close to a year ago. But they work great because it gives you some nice elevation on that back heel. They're not the best in the world, but they get the job done. I'm going back to using them now when I'm doing my squats. So. Power lift the shoes, I usually keep these and just switch out my shoes or whatever like that if I don't want to wear these throughout my whole workout. So anyway, that's what's up, man. Um, that's everything. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like it. Comment and subscribe to your boy Jarrell here at Jarrell Fitness. And like I said in the beginning, y'all already know, it's time to grow, bro. I'm going to holla at y'all later. Deuces. I gotta try to look out for everybody. So the question that I've been getting um, very frequently is, how long does it take to build muscle? I believe that's probably like the, the that's probably like the top two question that I get in my inbox from.